Florida is reeling after seeing the largest hike in terms of COVID cases in one day yeah. since the summer. Sorry, the state reported more than 10,000 coronavirus cases on Sunday, and it comes as we head into the holidays. Eight on your side's Marco Villarreal is live at the testing site at Raymond James Stadium with more on this rise. Good morning to you, Marco. Hey, good morning, David and Avery. Yeah, over the past several weeks, we have seen those numbers slowly increase from three to four to 5,000 positive cases a day. And a lot of that testing has happened here at Raymond James Stadium here at the testing site. But then over the weekend, all of a sudden, it nearly doubles. For those of us who went through things in the summer, it's very reminiscent. All right, so that's Dr. Cami Kim. She's the USF Director of Infectious Diseases and an attending physician at Tampa General Hospital. As the numbers spike, not just in Florida, but across the country, there are fears of new restrictions and hospitals hitting or nearing capacity. She says to help flatten the curve and keep the virus from spreading, people should be quarantining when exposed to the virus. They should also avoid exposure to large crowds and gatherings, especially over the next two months during the holidays. With the holidays coming up and people wanting to do family gatherings, kids coming home from college, I think we're really entering a time where it could be pretty scary and people are going to really, really have to start paying attention to all precautions. Now, several states are cracking down as their numbers increase. Some are closing down indoor dining, enacting stay at home orders, and shutting down sports. One medical expert said, as unpopular as this is, that if we don't change our Thanksgiving plans, we could be in for a very unmerry Christmas. By the way, Ray J testing site here opens at 8 o'clock. Reporting live, Marco Villarreal, 8 on your side.